Ah. Hola, amigos. Me llamo es Resti. Aka Remix de Idiot de uh, I don't know welcome in Spanish. So that's that's all the Spanish you're gonna get out of me. Anyway, Ohio. Well, actually, it's it's the evening when I as of me playing this up. Uh, Konbanwa. Uh, no, Konichiwa. Kimi wa remixu de idiot. Soshite Genshin Impact. Let's play. Deshita. Sa, ikimashou. That was at least semi understandable. Why is my fucking Spanish still so shitty? I still gotta work on the accents for both, though. Well, apparently, though, I gotta work on my Tagalog accent as well, even though it's my natural language, because apparently I have a fucking accent whenever... an Americano accent whenever I'm speaking Tagalog. What the fuck, man? How does that even work? Anyway, hello. Fuck me. I'm... We're doing... we're continuing the story. Uh, this is fantastic. Alright, what are we doing now? Heavenly Stone... oh, right. We're gonna blow shit up. What happened, uh, with the update? There was an update. Yes, I am aware of the chasm. Blah blah blah, same shit. Anyway. Uh. Eh. I'll spend my rest on some other time. Let's just get right into the story. I already started the recording and, uh, you know. I have a terrible habit of taking fucking forever to get to the point. Waypoint. I think that's a waypoint. No, the waypoint's over there. It's easy enough to get. <sighs> Collect five geo particles within the. Oh, come on, you gotta. You're making me go down. I mean, down is where I'm supposed to be going right now, but. Come on. Uh Cool. I'll keep this close. Alright, things exploring this place has gotten a little bit more convenient. Uh still a little annoying, but hey, is that treasure? Yeah. Don't think you could hide amongst the barrels, you sus as among us. There's like a springboard I can use. Oh, let me mine this. Fuck, with Sith. Oh, that's super annoying. If I want to mine with Klee, I'm going to have to get rid of my Wind Sith bonus. And then if I get an enemy within the next 30 seconds, then I'm kind of just fucked, I guess. How oh, annoying. Done, you go. Let me get some more sticky honey roast. No wonder it's fucking Paimon's favorite. It's actually literally the best. I'm out of sticky honey roast. Uh, delicious omelet rice it is. It provides the same- it conquers the same benefits. So it's all good. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, it's a little trap here, so there's not many places you can go to. Apart from getting fucked. So get fucked. Is this actually literally the only battle music they have for the chasm? Eat shit, asshole. Fall off your horse. Born of ice and frost. I need some healing. Burst Come healing. On. We can do it. Let's dance. That would just bonus back. Distracted. Uh, I want. I want to get the fucking bullshit, but I can't find any of them. I guess they do provide some light. Shiny. Uh, whatever. I want to eat something, but I just toothbrushed. So anything I eat. Will just taste terrible. Uh, but my stomach's actually literally grumbling. Uh... <sighs> A water filtration device. Is it this big thing? It's covered in Ganon goo. Ah, my light. Gotta beat people up. I'm supposed to do so. Oh, uh, bam! Gucci. So, uh, where are the keys? Is it in there? Give it to me. Give it to me. Do I gotta break it or something? I guess I did. Sorry to rain in your parade, but uh... Access denied. I'm ruining your guys' day. You're gonna get shattered, and you're gonna die. Like, literally, just die. Okay, you can get out of the frozen before I kill you. Good job. You get to run away and live for now. No touching! Now, some of you may be asking why I did that. Perhaps whoever left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. Huh? Now then, so the next key location should be somewhere around here. Now, let me see if I can do something about this. I'm gonna activate it from here. Lovely. Enemies inbound. Fish. Give me. 
fucking idiots. Now you're gonna vaporize me. Blaze over. This should be the water filler. Crumble apart. Yep, these guys don't know oh. what they're missing. Melt them. Bam! Damn it, are you kidding me? Uh, picked the wrong test subject. <laughs> Idiot. Stop. La la la. What do you know? What you're right, Queen. There was. Yeah. Ah. Is this an entrance to a domain? What? I'll keep this close. Well, that's certainly a thing. Open door. All we need is some more firewood and some thing else, I guess. There's not just one secret path to the surface. Cool. Couldn't we have just broken those a long time ago and went inside the mine that way? I don't feel- I don't like getting up to the surface when it's night time. The reason? Minecraft. Isn't it- I haven't played the new update yet, I haven't played Minecraft in a while. But like- Since it's only at light level zero exactly that monsters spot now. How many more mon how many monsters spot in the overworld nowadays? With the new update. And how much more dangerous are caverns now? Alright, so how do we go about blowing this place up? Jaga! Whoa! Get rid of that. Let the show begin. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Alright, let's just. Blazing delight! Go, Klee. Get close to them and vaporize them. Dendro slime too. <laughs> You're gonna burn, all right. Born of ice and frost. Right. You're yeah. gonna melt, all right. Ooh. Huh. No, don't. Shake. All hail. Boing, boing, boom. Yeesh! 
Got the cannonballs. Bring it back to camp, you say. Alright, that fucking shit's gonna keep bugging me. Dang it. Annoying. Alright, I'll go drink some water, right? Real quick, be right back. Also gonna be bringing in... More fucking sh shit. So... See ya. Later. Hold on. Be right back, I mean. If you lie on the grass, you can feel the heartbeat of the world. Dendro? Mm. Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to do. Ah. All right. It's just gonna be a cutscene of talkie talky anyway. Let's get this over with. We found the cannonballs. They're in perfect shape. How did the fuses look? Not great. They can't be used anymore. How'd that happen? How about I, uh, hit it with Geo? Come on, that's basic elemental reaction knowledge. Everyone knows what happens when Geo comes in contact with other elements other than Geo, uh, uh, apart from Animo.
Hush now. Go ahead. You have no idea, Paimon. Ah, I got plenty of materials to be able to do that if you need. In fact, I have some with me right now, honestly. Double the usual cost. Oh, here we go. We need three or something, right? think they're in love. I'm too busy eating comment to fucking voice act. <laughs> Be happy it wasn't Jinwoo. Over there, huh? Hey, 
Eh, this entire place is a pain in the ass. Yo, lad! Right, this is the place. There should be a signal manipulation inside the... be you who took a shower first, so I just got used to putting it in the leftmost side of the stairway that I can. Are you fucking kidding me? I'll protect us. This guy. What a funny man this guy is. without making you fall off this time. I don't get it. I'll just put everything in the low setting. We're way behind schedule. That should be fine, right? These ropes, I forgot. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I tried. Oh, well, this is definitely the fastest route back. I'm gonna try it. Fuck. Uh, the fact that they made this wa uh, walkable is the biggest problem here, in my opinion. Let's start off with some walking and then once I'm, I've got the perfect camera angle. Treasures are a cause for great happiness. I see, that requires lots of light. Is 
there an elevator or something somewhere? Low, middle, high, is low, is low, middle, high. The last one's over there. You see, just straight ahead, just straight ahead. <sighs> There's a mermaid and an electro fatui there. I could probably take them both on, but you know, they're fucking patooey. That's the middle. Stronger. Get it. Like that thing. I'm trying to get to make it stronger. Hmm. <sighs> she really is reliant on 
melt for her. Bullshit. Ironically, she really is just good at taking care of single foes. Freezing too many enemies at once is a pain. Oh, I did it. Okay. I was like, maybe I did something wrong. Let me go readjust the middle one. And then, yep, okay. Back to the cannon we go. Next on the agenda. To you, okay. Let's go. Did it. Further down. There. Did it. level 3 by now. In the depths, an unexpected reunion. Is this an answer from this world? Hmm. Wait, why? Why is it back to doing this? Am I supposed to be doing this? Definitely don't want to mess with that guy. Ah. Uh. Crumble apart. This is long overdue. Jumpy Dumpy go. Yeah. Oh, he flew away. La la la. Where am I going exactly? Da, da, da. It appears this is as far as we can go. Mistaken. I guess we have to. Uh. 
Eh, thanks. Leave the widget bonus disappears when you leave when your character leaves, which really sucks. What element did you get? We can do it. Pyro. Annoying. Really? Access denied. I should be able to melt you ad infinitum. Glaze over. Shake. Let the show begin. Decompose and sailor shirts, but I'm done jacket lead it's good. Serpent. More treasure, more treasure. Story converges here. Might finally get some more voice cutscenes. Shit. 
Definition of useless. Yet we don't mind. You don't have to worry either. Just leave it to old traveler. are unaffected because we're outsiders. We're not from Tibet. That's my current theory right now anyway. Of course. I'll protect us. Kidding me? The abyss. For Rex Lapis, born of ice and frost. Let's dance. Throw them all up. Boing, boing, boom. La la la. Yeah. Emerging monsters. There's gonna be more than just this guy. Hi. Get over here. 
Next on the agenda. Huh. Let the show begin. Huh. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Alright, Here we go in this case. I'm fine now. I was just suffering from maladjustment a moment ago, so I might have looked pretty frightening, but I'm fine now. Please, don't worry. It's like how people might feel faint due to the thin air they climb a very high mountain for the first time. Or find it hard to breathe in deep waters. Dude, that's literally something not everyone... That's literally the most unrelatable thing you could have ever made an analogies to. Your analogs suck. <laughs> These are all small problems. Things that every good adventure must overcome. No problem at all, really. Small problems, says the person who talks about them so dramatically. Don't get too close on those things anymore, okay? Also, don't watch from so close when we're fighting. Just look at the state you're in already. I'll be fine, really. Don't you underestimate me. That's what adventure should be like. They should walk with death and consider deadly peril a friend. We fear neither death nor danger. Add Astra Abyssos. So, <coughs> this is nothing I could handle. What are you even talking about? If you're expecting to get a vision one of these days or something, don't get your hopes up. Physical's the best anyway. <clears throat> Please don't worry about me. That's right, we're talking about something different altogether. Stop being stubborn and go back to the surface to rest. No, please, <laughs> listen to me. They're not different. They're the same thing. What just happened was just a small setback. I can overcome it for sure. The environment here is no harsher than that of the marriage Bari. Please don't laugh at me, but I don't think I'm much inferior to Stanley in adventures. Uh, okay. Then ordinary people like me can do the same as those seasoned adventures. Just with an extra grit. That's what I believe. I'll persist no matter what, and I'll do my best not to be a burden to you. Let's time on asked you a question earlier. When you came into contact with that Ganon goop, did you feel uncomfortable like this too? Kinda. It wasn't that serious. Don't try to downplay it. Give us an honest answer. Well, yes, but just like this time, I just needed to tough it out, you know? It was nothing serious. This person has got to be the king of the land of understatements. How can you be sure that you won't be in mortal danger if exposed to it for too long? Actually, she doesn't have a vision. Well, neither do we. Huh. So why is she feeling it, but we aren't? I wonder. Anyway, uh, I think there's a... Uh, any good warrior knows when it's time to give up. 
I can't. This expedition has just gotten exciting, you know? I don't want to slow us down. Uh, please. You gotta learn the that's booba the booba. There's probably a backstory behind your actions. Can I get a map of this place? Uh, that's the useless luggage out of the way. If I can just get rid of the other useless luggage. Namely, I'm talking about Paimon, of course. Super pure ones now. Question mark. Oh boy. Oh, here I go. Need to get this first, obviously. Alright. Uh, voice cutscenes, probably. Not gonna get my hopes up. Here we are. Oh boy. Hey, I'm still falling! Didn't gun you die. I don't wanna revive you. City? The remains of Canaria. A whole city that's floating in the air! Upside down? Cool. Just look at this place. Doesn't it remind you of something? Wait, what was it again? Flashback man. Uh, sorry about just the dog. Just like that. Just as strange, just as upside down, and just as spooky. In which case, maybe whatever is going on in the chasm really is connected to the Abyss Order. Oh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Oh? oh? Nanny. Dangely. The feeling is mutual. I certainly hadn't expected to meet you here either. Long time no see, Dane. Wait, but how did you suddenly end up here in the chasm? The chasm? So we're in the depths of the chasm, are we? Interesting. This is one place where I have never set foot before.
Oh god damn it, Jess. Uh, I... Can I turn on... A press space to mute thingy or something? Setting on OBS. So at least Jazz isn't as annoying. I don't have push to talk. Uh, why is Jazz barking so much? I understand how you must feel. Last time we met suddenly and parted hastily. Now our paths cross again. Fate, it seems, owes you an explanation. That much should be self-explanatory. I came upon the trail of another Abyss Herald recently and began pursuing it. Unfortunately, I got as far as cornering him before he resorted to the same trick that they all do. I was hot on his heels when I followed him through the portal, but, as usual, it was to no avail. It took me to the wrong place. Correct. Based on my recent experiences, I can only conclude that the Abyss's portals are not simply pathways from point A to point B, but gateways to an entire network. Leyline networks. I just finally stopped barking. I could go back to... Well, it's not like I was saying anything before, don't worry. Uh, I was gonna unmute anyway if I did want to say anything, but I didn't. Where they emerge on the other side is their choice. It can be anywhere within the network. Sounds kind of similar to how teleport waypoints work. In short, though I was right behind your twin last time when I entered that portal, the next moment that I realized where I was, I was all alone, back in the ruins known as Storm Terror's Lair. That's where you were this entire time? Oh, yeah! About that! Whatever happened to the Eye of the First Field Tiller? It's in a safe place. You can be sure that I will learn the truth of the Loom of Fate operation sooner than it could ever fall into the Abyss Order's hands. Why don't you tell us who you really are? <laughs> so that title stuck in your memory. I by no means went out of my way to conceal it from you. It once stood for the glory of Kanria. But you now... know, they hyped it up so much. And then after all this bullshit I went through to the chasm. Hyping it up even more, you know, the build up. This, this is the base drop. Just him coming out of a portal and then talking. That's it. Nothing's happening. We're literally just talking. Talk about boring. It is but a cruel joke. My curse to bear. Twilight Sword was my title as Captain of the Royal Guards when I witnessed the destruction of my entire homeland firsthand. I believe my reluctance to raise it in conversation is quite justified. Sounds like your brother was right. Huh. Do you know my brother? We were travel partners. We both partook in a painful journey of searching for our fate. But regrettably, we did not make it to the journey's end together. Excuse me? Before you continue questioning me, I ought to warn you. If my suspicions regarding the portal network are correct, then the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that the Abyss Order has their eyes on this location. You mean, the Abyss Order is plotting something here? Actually, Paimon and the Traveler suspected that too! You think the Fatui are all over the place, along with Abyss Mages? I mean that it's highly likely that even as we speak, the Abyss Order is watching our every move. <gasps> Don't say that! You're giving Paimon goosebumps! Let's go. <laughs> A wise choice. Hmm. There appears to be light from a fire coming from near that rocky wall. Let's take a look. Seems like a trap, honestly. It's way too obvious. Okay. 
you guys long into an abyss. Yeah, this place kind of reminds me of that place from Under Lilies as well. Man, I kind of missed that game. Oh, there's an abyss. Hilly churl activity here. Could these be the hilly churls the requester was talking about? Requester? In fact, hold on. You still haven't told me what you're doing here. I doubt that most travelers would have any reason to venture down this way. Well, you will, I owe you this explanation. By the way, I'm muting again. If you couldn't hear, if you can't hear it right now, Jazz is barking. So, alright, I'm gonna go back to being muted. We took a commission from the Adventurers Guild to investigate the chasm. Apparently a whole load of hilly churls have been gathering here, and the requester wants to know why. And now it looks like we finally found our first clue. Do you want the answer? Huh? You mean, you know something about this? As it happens, I do. It's understandable that you did not perceive anything unusual. What makes this place so strange is that the environment here weakens the effect of the curse. Excuse me? What curse? The curse? Oh, Paima remembers! Last time you guys were saying that Conria's people were cursed to immortality or something. For centuries, I have suffered daily from the curse that was laid upon me. But here, I suddenly feel a small amount of relief from this suffering. And right here, right now, I can feel my body sending a strong message to me. It is telling me, stay. So... This place weakens the curse? That's pretty incredible. But how? That I shall need to investigate. But to the best of my knowledge, the Abyss Order does not have the technology to achieve this. Indeed. Do you know why Hilly Churls wear masks? Nope. It's to hide their appearance, lest they catch sight of their reflection in a body of water. Compared to how they remember themselves, it is a terrible sight to behold. One that causes them great despair. Isn't it common knowledge by now that Hilly Charles are people from Kynria? They look like that nowadays, but... So they're immortal? How does that make sense? The curse of immortality denies death to those afflicted with it. And yet, it does not truly mean that they will never die. So, you mean, there's a way to undo it? <sighs> no. I mean that the body and soul will continue to be eroded until they are virtually non-existent, even if death is not the form that this erosion takes. Hey, that's what John Lee and Baller fucking dealing with right now as well. When the Hilly Churls realize that the end is nigh for them, it seems their instinct is to seek out a calm and dark corner of the world in which to finally say goodbye to the centuries of suffering they have endured. And of all the places they could lay down to rest, one that can ease the effects of their curse would surely be their first choice. Wow. That's so... Conversation's over. Brace yourselves. Nani? What is it? We're under attack. Oh boy. Access denied. Ha! Let's dance. Come on, we can do it. Jumpy, jumpy, go! Boing, boing, go! Blow them all up! Ah! 
Yeah, I'm way too so I'm way too small for him to hit. Yep, I know it. That guy, this guy, fucking will spawn because he's fell off. That's so fucking annoying. Next on the agenda. For Rex Lapis. What? Who are those? And why did they attack us all of a sudden? Ignite explosions and stuff. Black Serpent Knights. They once belonged to the Royal Guard of Kanria. One a year, folks? Wait a second. Royal Guard? So, they used to be your troops? Yes, they were. But now, the curse engulfs them, and they fight with none of the honor they once had. Because they've become pawns of the Abyss now? Let's continue on. Wait! Dang! Another one. <clears throat> Seems we missed one. Wait, stand down. There's something different about this one. It's disappeared. You left. What the heck? What was going on with that one? Was it trying to say something? How is this possible? How could he have retained self-awareness for 500 years without... it? But more importantly, why did he seem so familiar? He seems to know you. That would be a miraculous outcome indeed for a cataclysm that brought total doom and destruction. Hmm. Or perhaps it was just a coincidence. We should press onward to the city. Agreed. Yes, it's calmed down again, so that's nice. La la la! So how do we explore this place? Looks like there's a strange energy surrounding the city. We can't go any further. Guess there should be a mechanism or something around here, right? Traveler, looks like it's time to get into ruin exploring mode. Puzzles. Don't waste your time. Wait to ruin the fun, Dane. Come on. Huh? Conria's technology, abyssal power. Two things I couldn't be more familiar with. <laughs> They're just cheap tricks to me. I want to solve some puzzles. Okay, so the Abyss Order really is trying to hide something here, right? Hmm. Dan seems like he really understands what's going on here. No wonder the Abyss Order doesn't want him around. So, uh, why, why the Upside Down City? Not necessarily. The closer we draw, the more I am inclined to conclude that these ruins belong to a more ancient civilization still. The Abyss Order simply got to them before anyone else. Even older than Kanria? Whoa, Pyron can't even imagine back that far. That said, the architecture here does somewhat resemble that of Kanria. At least, it would if it were the other way up. Let's head toward the light over there. Mind your footing on the way ahead. It's a long way down. How old are you, Paimon? Yep. Yep. Ah. Great, more. Ah, Black Serpent Knights! Is this where they're based? Or wait... Are they guarding something here? We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to hide. Let's take them out first. That's Muggy. Uh, drop! Hi. Huh. Drop! Shake! Pew! Jumpy, jumpy, go! 
let the show begin. Ah, na, 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 na. I can fix this. Can't no really touching, born of ice and frost. I think they... That one goblin slayer scene, lol. Huh? What's this? So, the Black Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. Huh. I should have guessed. So, what exactly is going on with these hilly churls? As I said, for these hilly churls, the end is nigh. They have grown old and fearful of the light, even become one with the darkness. And yet the curse continues to corrode them. But why would the Black Serpent Knights want to stay here and guard them? They don't even drop anything. God. Dane? 
You want to know why they were gathered here guarding the hilly churls, don't you? It's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. The one who ordered them to retreat just now, I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man, an elite in the Royal Guard of old. His name is Halfdan. Everyone named after a musical bullshit. Like Dainsleaf. And now Halfdan. So, he's from 500 years ago too? Considering how many musical terms like that they can borrow from, I suspect Kyra has a population of 12. To this day, I still remember the final orders. I, the Twilight Sword, gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanria, before I made haste back to the palace. Inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs. Because we, of course, were royal guards. But this would mean nothing in the events that followed. Royals, gentry, common folk. These identities made no difference. Against the might of the gods, the only identity that mattered was being from Kanria. These black serpent knights have lost their intellect, but perhaps, in whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster, and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then suddenly I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat and more of a warning. What's the difference? Then, what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Run. I see. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion, it is nothing short of a miracle. Born from hopelessness. Oh, so Paimon had them all wrong. Kind of like the Inazuma, other place. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. Good. I'm not muted, aren't I? I probably should have lowered the main volume music. Whatever. I'm loud enough. And so is, so are the people talking. Sure enough, we aren't seeing any more black serpent knights. Guess that half damn guy really did recognize Captain Dane, huh? A waypoint. <laughs> Upside down, but it should still be able to work. I think. There's nothing wrong with reaping a reward every now and then. Just thinking, nothing more. If you're trying to console me, I can assure you there is no need. 
<laughs> Fine. Touch it, Sundere. part of the entire city structure, a relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. The effect is stronger here than it was before, and I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. Cleansing? So, that means the water in that pool can wash away the curse for good? Wouldn't that be great? No, that would be impossible. How are you so sure? I have lived with this curse for 500 years, and I have been fully conscious the entire time. Suffice to say, no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Okay. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely... Bacana. Consider it tantamount to burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Huh? Cleansing the curse cost you your life? Whoa, an irreversible curse! Paimon can't even imagine! In any case, I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but a little. Hmm. So, what's that contraption there? It looks kind of out of place. Hmm. A device of some kind, mayhaps? Frankly? I have never seen a device of this design before either. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do I saw here? some more of them every now and then. Nanny. Ah! Oh, that gave Paimon a fright! So, all the doors are open now? Convenient. Afton, do you have something to say to me? Walks away. He ran off! But he didn't disappear like last time. He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? Well, then we don't have a joy. True. So, uh, we going then? <laughs> Yeah. 
beautiful and damned. Into that. I can't jump down over there. Let's follow him. Into that. What the fuck's into that? <laughs> A new place or something? Is that what? A another realm? The opposite of the opposite of Tavat and where Kainri is? Or is it simply a misspelling or something? I I'm j I genuinely don't, really don't know. Usually I like to joke whenever there's grammar issues, but is Intavat a real place or something? Whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see. Let's keep going. between combat and out of combat. This is awesome. Is that way into the hilly trail camp? Let's go see. Wizard. It's a humble hilly trail camp. Trails look like they're in pretty bad shape, too. Some of them look like they've already taken their final breath. We've seen plenty of hilly trails die already, Paimon. Some we killed. Is this what Haftan wanted to show us? Whether it is or not, everything here is worth investigating in detail. Inspect the area. Leave no stone unturned. Oh. Uh, just think 
being allowed here could also be another reason. You suck with investigating, Paimon. You're letting your heart do the talking. Not a fan of what we're doing anyway, but still. How did that flower get this I'll from underground? A flower. Did someone bring it in memory of the deceased hilly churros? A silent princess. <laughs> hey, now that you mention it, Paimon thinks it looks kind of familiar too. It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. Ah. It once bloomed all over the nation. It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petals grow soft once more and finally turn to dust. So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, signifying the tenderness of the homeland. I wear that thing. <gasps> so for this flower to get here, it must have been brought from... What the lag? Your Highness, so the proposal finally has your blessing. In focusing single mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original well, mission. He also wears it. The revival of the homeland. I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We await your command. What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking, approximately... An approximate of an approximate. Amazing. Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. For too long have we dwelt in the Abyss. Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are, without a shred of dignity. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. The Order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. Either. They are brothers after all. The siblings. Whoops. Uh, she she talked. Whoops. You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? Archaea? Yeah. You zoned out for quite a while there. Still the same as I am. <laughs> Always willing well, to help a hand. People do say that twins have a special connection. Jojo-style family bonds. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And you say he mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? Yes, that's his main story quest. No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. After all, there can be no nation without a people. Oh. Think it'll work? <laughs> it is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success. Not even a 1% chance. Not even an Aleph Null percent? Oh, act, fuck. Aleph Null means the infinity of all numbers. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. They're doing it right now. 
So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself, they are no longer human. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. Save your strength for something worth saving. Why should I believe it? Oh? <laughs> but of course, I am merely someone you hired for a task, while he is your brother. Never say never, that's what a lot of people like to say. It is only natural for but you to I'm side with him. I'm a firm believer that there are times when you should fold. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the abyss. If we have reached an impasse, then perhaps this is where we yeah, should say- Dang it, I couldn't click it fast enough. <laughs> I see. Even up, no matter how slim the odds. I mean, I've played enough Genshin Impact, you know? We all know how this goes down. We take those chances, baby! Yeah! <laughs> it seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Obviously, I mean, isn't that Very well. Isn't that natural? Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. We've been waiting. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the Abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. Understandable. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. Uh, how much longer is the story? I'm being called for dinner. There might be one more fight. I'll do that at least, and we this is still not over. I'm just gonna pause the recording, I guess. Wait, watch out! Nani? Ah! Oh, what? What's going on? Is that light coming from the room in the center? Oh, it's too bright! Oops, sorry, I kicked my mic. The mutation is continuing. Has the abyss made its move already? Fun. Dean Smith, I see your incessant meddling continues. And that you have once again joined forces with our highness's kin. What can I say? It's what we do best. You should know that, you know, my brother. Regrettably, I was not in time to control your exit from the network. And it sent you here of all places. <laughs> this was a catastrophic error. Eh. <laughs> I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran like a coward last time. Our Highness's will must be done. All interferences must be removed. Whatever the price to pay. I don't want to deal with another Hydro Herald. This time, the curse that torments our people must be undone. Once and for all. You are the only ones who torment them. There is nothing else left of those hilly churls. Nothing besides the curse itself. Say what you wish. I am going nowhere, Dainsley. A conflict is inevitable. Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How absurd. But since you wish to persist, then so be it. Life or death, good or evil, heaven or hell, the abyss or the heavens. Only one shall remain, one shall succeed. First Do you really think begin. you can use that device beneath the pool to cleanse this curse? Do not underestimate the ways of the abyss. That device can amplify the cleansing effects of the water, not tenfold, but a hundredfold. Then I overestimated you. This plan is even cruder than I thought. Drop! 
is futile. Access denied. The end is now. <laughs> Time's almost up. I'll be back down there soon enough. Hold on, we got this. We may just have enough time. If my dang it, if my Blaze buttons over. would fucking press correctly. There's no time to celebrate. The Abyss Order's device is activating, but there's still time to destroy it. Alright, let's go! Ayaku. Alright, well, the story seems almost over, but, uh... I'll be right back. I'm just gonna pause the recording. All right, I'm back. Let's do this. <clears throat> We're continuing. Uh, I just finished dinner. Uh, I, was, I was suddenly thinking about the dentatum discrimine. Uh, while I was having dinner. I'll talk about it more in depth because I just really love that series. A lot. Uh, when season 4 is over, which I plan to be the final season. Okay. Had to journal. Staff Sergeant Anton has discovered a large bell to the southeast. The rock walls have their swept all over it. This is very similar to the large bell that the captain discovered in the ruins to the northwest. Perhaps we dispatch Snezhevna uh, and Fadekia, uh, Fadeka to ring the two bells in their respective corners. As the terrifying troll talls reverberated through the stone, the black fog dissipated. What a strange phenomenon. It's almost like the bells were announcing someone's arrival. So they're the cause of this. I should have known. Ten were lost. Two vanguard got squads took immense damage. The captain ordered a retreat. A simple map falls out from the diary. The map marks out the two bells in the northwest and the southeast, with two ominous skulls to go with them. So, uh, we gotta go there. Fantastic. Now get me out of here. These two places look like real bad news, but we gotta go take them down if we wanna know what's going on. Yep, it appears this fucking shit is far from over. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna continue this some other time. Uh, for now, since I've already paused and resumed, it's kind of pointless to just immediately end after, I think. Uh, I was gonna play soon enough anyway some more, uh, obviously to spend my resin, so that is what I'm gonna do. How much longer until those guys are in full bloom? I think tomorrow I can harvest them. Right. More XP bullshit is what we're doing. It looks like the most convenient is all the way here.
Let me see Gan use that. Oh boy. Jazz is at it again. <sighs> right, she's level 70 out of 80. And these are her talent levels. I think, because, I think if I got her to level 80, she would be dealing more damage even without any reactions. Uh, she'd also probably greatly benefit. I'm getting more levels from here as well. Her artifacts are actually already pretty darn good. They could definitely be better, but... As they are, these are great. She's using Wanderers. Let me see if I have a better Cryo for her. Potentially, at least. Let's see all the Cryos. That one's crit damage. That is a surprisingly large amount of Cryo that I have, but this one remains the best. Alright. Uh, let's see. Wanderer's troop. Turn this off. And see, do we have a better crit rate or even better? Maybe a crit damage. Oh, look at this one. This one's got crit damage. This one's got crit damage too. And energy recharge. I want crit damage, elemental mastery, and energy recharge, and attack percent. That would be perfect. Ooh, this one's crit damage. Crit rate. Alright, those are all definitely worth trying to level up and seeing what their fourth sub stat is at least. Alright, everything else there is bullshit. Hmm, also those new ones are worth digging a, a little bit deeper into. These all already have all four substats. So there's no hope. This one's actually perfect. If the fourth substat is crit damage. Let's level it up. I'm too, uh, I forgot I got some a lot of one stars and two stars right now. And I'm too lazy right now. I'm just gonna do this manually. Give me your fourth substat. Uh, please be crit damage. That would literally be the greatest thing ever. If that happened. Attack flat. Eh. That's fine. Let's level you up to 8 then since you're so close. With any luck, you'll upgrade anything, something good. Attack flat was upgraded. Fantastic. Well, at least she's slightly more tanky. Just a tiny bit. Right. Uh, I'm gonna go switch to a more combat-oriented team. Switch this out for Raiden and then What is the perfect. situation? Ugh. Raiden's technically the sub DPS. Well, actually, Sucrose is. Well, you know, Sing Chu is. Well, and Bennett's is. And then, and then let's not forget the healers. Sing Chu and Bennett. Yeah, this team kind of just has a little bit of everything. Only thing missing is a shielder. There is no escape. Who really needs shields? Am I right? Absorption test. Uh. Animal Any hyperstasis emulation. Witness the power of Gugwa. Now you shall perish. <laughs> I missed. Animal test 6308. Stand clear. Can I get my 
sacrificial Illusion draw. shattered. Rain cutter. Kit swirl. Mark. Everybody stand back. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. Very nice. That does some shield damage. So this is what it feels like to be Taryu. With his fucking Bennett and Archons and other bullshit that makes him literally just... Makes literally everything for him effortless. Illusion shattered! Doesn't hurt me. <laughs> no, my sword! Let's light it up! Witness the power of Goku. Absorption test. I'm going in. Stand clear. Enhanced Panama module seventy. Torn to oblivion. Shine down. One more. You just spam bursts and you're done. Yeah, so we ki we kill Heli Charles. They're they're supposed to be immortal and they can't die, but like we kill them all the time. Other people kill them all the time. What's the big idea? There is no escape. Absorption test. Animal test sixty three oh eight. I let my guard down. Let me leave you a verse. Everybody stand back! Let's light kit! Absorption test! Animal hypostasis and you Now you shall perish! Illusion shattered! No my sword! There is no escape! Stand clear! Ah, oh, I miss Raiden hitting five. They usually say something whenever they reach a milestone, certain milestones in friendship. But only when they're the character out on the field, when it happens. How lame. Uh, anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for now. Continue the story some other time. Why is, why is, not, why is it the main mission that I have fo fucking being followed? And that's weird with the mouse. Ah! Goodbye.